Okay, math wizards, let's do our application problem for the day. First thing I'm gonna do is read this. We gotta be really careful about reading it because we wanna make sure we get all the information correct with um, Eureka Math, because sometimes they're kinda of tricky. So let's do a really careful job of reading this. Ben has a rectangular area nine meters long and six meters wide. So I'm gonna underline this, because this is something we know. All right, you don't need to write all this down, of course. So what two numbers do we have involved here? Well, we have nine and six. All right. What else happens here? He wants a fence that will go around it and grass sod to cover it. Okay, so he wants a fence to go around this area and then grass sod. Maybe you've seen that grass rolled up to cover it all up. What we, we need to find out? First of all, we need to, find, need to find out how many meters of fence will he need. Now, you get ready to write on your scratch paper because we're going to start drawing his area. So here's Ben's area, and he's going to build a fence around it. And it's 6 meters and 9 meters. Okay, this is called perimeter. Maybe you remember perimeter from last year. This is perimeter. How do we figure out perimeter? We add all the sides. So I'm going to put 6 meters over here and 9 meters here. Right? What's 6 plus 6 or 6 times 2? 12. What's 9 times 2? Or 9 plus 9? 18. I'll put the larger number on top. That's always a little easier. So now I'm ready to add 8, 9, 10. Put my 1 over here and go 1, 2, 3. And don't forget your measurement 30 meters. So we can answer the question now. Ben will need 30 meters of fence. Ben will need 30 meters of fence. So go ahead and write that down. Because remember in Eureka Math, we read, we draw, and then we write. Now, how much grass sod will he need to cover it? Well, think about this. Remember, this is area. He's going to cover the area. So Let's go ahead and think about the formula for figuring out area. Length times width. So it's just 6 times 9. Okay? 6 times 9. What does 6 times 9 equal? Think about it. Do you remember? Remember that one way that we were looking at it last year? We can go like uh, where you can go like this. Six times nine. You put out your fingers. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. You have five here. Five tens and four ones. So fifty-four. Maybe we can watch a video about that. But he's going to need fifty-four. Um, so, so we're trying to figure out how many square meters of grass sod will he need to cover the entire area. So it's square meters, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So it's 54 meters squared. So we can say Ben will need whoops, 54 square, that's what that little 2 means, meters of sod. Okay. Why it's called square meters? I love showing this. Let's take a look. I'm going to draw nine lines this way, and you can go along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have nine lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll do six across. One, two, three, four. I'm running out of room. And five and six. How many total squares do you think we have? They should be the same size, but I didn't want to do my ruler because that would take a long time. We have 54 square meters. So, Ben will need 30 meters of fence to go all the way around his yard and or his area, and Ben will need 54 square meters of sod to cover that all up. Alrighty, that is our first application problem of the school year. I hope you enjoyed it. You can go ahead and take a, a little break right now. Go to the next slide and there'll be some instructions there for you.